Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at a fixture that I decided to modify. This particular fixture that I modified here is my Sun System Lighting 1000 Watt High Pressure Sodium Slash Probe Start Metal Halide Remote Grow Light Fixture. Now as you can see by the looks of it, this fixture is no longer a remote grow light fixture as it used to be. But um, anyways, um, the reason I decided to modify it is so I can operate BT56 1000 watt metal halide bulbs of any kind. Because this ballast is also compatible with operating um, 1000 watt Pro Start metal halide bulbs. So anyways, um, the way I mounted the socket onto this piece of metal is, um, of course, I had to mount it on this because that's the only place I could do it. Is because, you know... The other two sides are vent holes to, you know, keep the fixture, like, you know, cool and doesn't get as hot as, you know, as you think it would because the ballast produces a lot of magnetic field and also the coils heat up when in operation. So, anyways, um, the way I um, mounted the socket onto this piece of metal is um, I drilled three holes, two of which um, are holding the socket and um, I used screws and um, deadbolts or no, nuts, sorry. And I tried to screw them on as um, as tight as I can in order for the stock to stay upright and of course, you know, you know, stay tight and of course, you know, operate the fixture. And then the third hole is, um, the third hole was for feeding the wires through so I could directly wire it from the ballast. So that is how I decided to, um, get this fixture to work and this fixture still works as it should and um yeah that's pretty much what I have to say and of course the switch still works for like all the different lamp types like you know currently right now it's on s52 1000 watt high pressure sodium bulbs and this basically this switch right here basically controls if the igniter is off or on so this is the on position and this is the off position because it's operating metal halide bulbs. Instead, it only operates M47 bulbs. It does not operate M141 bulbs, which is the 1000 watt pulse start metal halide. So we're going to switch it back to high pressure sodium since even though I have two 1000 watt probe start metal halide lamps in my collection, they both have little blobs of mercury inside the arc tube, which roll around freely in the arc tube. And um, if I power one of them up, um, if once the mercury um, condenses and turns back into a liquid after it was a gas, um, the mercury basically just sticks to the earth tube wall, which I don't like, and it doesn't move around freely. So um, yeah, that is why I am only going to operate high pressure sodium lamps for this video. But um, in the future, I might get myself a um, other 1000 watt um, metal halide bulb to operate as well. So yeah. So anyway, I and I also forgot to mention that this is a dual voltage fixture. It can op it can operate either on 120 house voltage or 240. So there you go. So this is basically um, used in houses only. It cannot be used in um, you know street lights and all that and factories because other factories use different voltages and all that primary voltages like 480 and 277. So kind of makes sense. But, um, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and grab a bulb, shall we? Alright guys, I am back with, um, a lamp that I am going to use and test for this little video. And the bulb that I'm going to be testing for this video is my Sylvania Lumilux 1 kilowatt high pressure sodium eco bulb. You can see the lamp etch right there. There you go, it's a little worn off but um, I can still read it just fine. And it's printed in green ink, which is pretty cool. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera on the ballast here so we can get a good view of the whole lamp turning on. And I don't know how I'm going to um, set it up because you know, I modified the fixture a little bit, so I may have to tilt the camera up really high. So you may see some other things in the background of the video. You can see my wall clock and my Super Mario poster and my 350 watt metal halide bulb in the right side of the screen. So I believe that's that. So anyways now, enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and turn on my modified 1000 watt high pressure sodium slash probe start metal halide non remote grow light fixture. Here we go.
so the fixture has reached full brightness now and as you can see by the looks of it this bulb is insanely bright you do not want to stare at this bulb with any type of welding gear like especially a welding helmet because I believe that's like the best option you have to wear in order for you to look at the lamps up close so this bulb produces 130,000 lumens by the way so that's why it's like that so this is what it looks like when it lights up this room very very nicely in orange because of all of the sodium in the earth tube so anyways I hope you enjoyed this little video of a fixture modification that I decided to do so anyways hope you enjoyed this short video and as always please comment rate and subscribe and thank you all very much for watching